The 3D Brain MRI Viewer is an innovative application that allows users to explore the brain's anatomy interactively. Using MRI data, this application generates 3D models that can be rotated, zoomed, and panned. Users can view various brain structures, such as the cerebrum, cerebellum, brainstem, and ventricles in different orientations, axial, sagittal, coronal. MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, is a non-invasive imaging technology that produces three-dimensional detailed anatomical images. It's often used for disease detection, diagnosis, and treatment monitoring. Just like how your dog detects the crinkling of a treat bag from three rooms away, MRI helps in detecting the slightest anomalies in the body. This application uses 3JS, a powerful 3D library that makes WebGL easier to use for rendering the MRI data as interactive 3D models. Think of it as a techie's version of a coloring book, minus the crayons and plus some serious cool factor. Improving this rendering can be approached in several ways. One method is to use more sophisticated volume rendering techniques, such as ray casting or slicing-based rendering, which can provide a more continuous and detailed visualization of the volumetric data. Okay, so I'll share the code. Yeah, I would like essentially to improve the way the volumetric data is being displayed. Yeah, if we can do the skull as an overlay, that would be good. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we need to be changing how the data was pre-processed or we can just uh, and essentially do everything in uh, JavaScript on the fly. In theory, it should be possible to do it on the fly in JavaScript, so it's more responsive. Last time we were trying to make some improvements uh, to like light lightning conditions, uh, background color, and the like, the size of each voxel. Uh, but that didn't seem to make much difference overall. We need to use a different approach altogether using nine Babel to load and manipulate the nifty files, extracting the axial, sagittal and coronal slices. And we convert volumetric data into a JSON file on the JavaScript end. We're using a 3GJS scene camera renderer and controls. We fetch the volumetric data create point cloud for visualization. We have interacting, rotating, zooming and panning 3D model. That's fine. We do add lighting to the scene to enhance visibility. We handle loading and toggling visibility of a 3D skull model. Now that skull model, we don't actually have it. So ideally we just use what's currently in the nifty file and we don't over complicate this but uh, yes if we have to create a 3d model just for the skull alone we could um, consider that but i'm not sure let me know how difficult that would be okay we have the thing working but um, yeah this is not any better whatsoever. And uh, that's fine. That's the all the code. It does work. Uh, okay. All the other three panels, uh, axial, sagittal, coronal view, are working fine as expected. However, we still would like to improve the way the volumetric data is being displayed and rendered. Control is okay. So mouse uh, panning, zooming in and out is all good. And uh, it's just the way it looks is not great. Any specific suggestions on that would be great. We already tried quite a few different things that didn't work. Bright ideas. Our volumetric data was so dark. It was like trying to find a black cat in a coal mine. Brightening things up is like 
bringing a flashlight, suddenly everything makes sense. By handling the nifty files directly in JavaScript and rendering the volume data with texture-based slicing, you should achieve a more accurate and detailed visualization. This approach allows for better control and real-time adjustments, improving the overall user experience. Uh, we using nifty files, they're being rendered okay. We are pre-processing them in Python, but I'm not sure if that's required because I've seen another example where uh, nifty files, even compressed nifty files are loaded directly into javascript front end but in this case and in this case it's working fine um but the volumetric model which is in the nifty data is uh, yeah just rendered in a weird fashion to know why is that happening so my understanding is meant to actually look like uh, so there's this open source stuff by well should have a link because that's where we get our data from uh, open neuro open neuro if you go mris pretty much any pretty much any mri to know why it's loading forever yeah the actual mri scans are really quick to uh, to display yeah, just waiting for this website to go down. Yeah, we could make them uh, larger eventually. Yeah, this would not work at the moment. Yeah, I need to. Um, yeah, I need to fix the way it's being uh, rendered. I'm just wondering what happened to Open Euro. <laughs> it would be funny if all this uh, website goes down. I think it's uh, originally it's uh, NIH uh, founded the Brain Initiative. So it should work. No, it's well. If a website doesn't work, by the way, if mine doesn't work, if mine doesn't work, uh, hit on Control F five. See if it helps. Normally it helps, but not in this case because it's running. You can actually see. Uh, what is it running? Well, it's blocking third-party cookies, but that's okay. I need to look at the network when loading what something is being loaded forever there's some google traces and things there's this gif um something is up was working yesterday well that's not my site so i'll be fixing it and uh, this is my site yes <laughs> Hope <laughs> it's fine because it has a lot of data uh, on the website, the uh, Open Euro. But uh, is anything else working? Uh, EEG, obviously, we're also interested in EEG. That's so loading for some time. Looks like the website is down. So, ah, I'm also using an ad blocker. Might wanna, uh, yeah, that might have been the problem. No, control five, MRI. So the head blocker is not blocking anything. Uh, let it run, but I can't do anything about it. If it goes down, it goes down, right? Um, we do. <laughs> well, it will be unfortunate because it has a lot of uh, MRI data and EEG data. Uh, hopefully, it's uh, been in another repository somewhere as well. And yeah. By any case, it's the only site I can actually do something about. So if you checked it out and you have any complaints, questions, requests, uh, do let me know. Yeah, the live simulation is there. I was trying to do um, arrangements which will encourage um, live birth uh, while using as little water as possible. So if you wait long enough, <laughs> Like this stream, uh, been going on for almost five hours. Yeah, there's life there. But then hopefully it picks up on um, a life from like another incubator. You can call them incubators. Um, and hopefully it will just keep uh, growing. Yeah, there's something going on there. I wasn't clicking on anything, so I'm not clicking on the screen. Yes, you can add your 
sign water rock life or remove stuff um, but it should just do its own thing yeah open your still loading uh, i think we can forget about that one <laughs> I don't know. maybe it's because i'm not signed in or something that's uh, um that data is from one of the open euro repositories just an example what i'm trying to show is if you take copies and craft your own space between you could shape a brain to anything you want well right except i wasn't uh, okay so those are just the nifty slices uh, images I did do pre-processing to it, but uh, uh, probably not required. We could uh, probably get rid of it. It should still work. Um, the problem I'm having is with this uh, volumetric data. So this is what we have in a file. But it shouldn't look like that. Well, I mean, so you see the details of the of the brain and the skull in it, which is fine. But the rendering of it. So what I was trying to show is how Open Neuro doing it. It's super quick. It's just in uh, HTML. I have a video of it. I can dig it out. Right, we don't, yeah, we don't have to look at the brains and the shape of this. Well, yeah, so once, uh, okay, those in theory, the if accurately uh, plotted, well, that's another way of looking at it. I don't know, it looks like um, the universe or something could be expanding or collapsing onto itself and stuff like that. Yeah, we don't have to view it in the shape of a brain. Well, doesn't it make sense? <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh yeah we can remap uh, anything to anything but uh, yeah we're like remapping uh m e g into music does it still work should work might uh, a volume can reduce the volume a bit can scroll through the file so this is actually yeah related on the comment of you don't have to look at the brains and the shape they are uh, this one you could you also don't have to uh, look at eeg uh, just uh, on the screen or you can map it into music sound um, and this is what a seizure sounds like if you actually do auto volume and auto duration it actually will go louder during seizure and softer when there is no seizure um, yes so we definitely don't have to look at things the way they are oops that would be it too loud yeah open your is down or something it's copyrighted to stanford center for reproducible neuroscience well so much for it being reproducible the website is not running yeah. maybe there was not enough support it went down uh, we could load a different uh, a different nifty file should have uh, a bunch of them and uh, see what uh, a difference does it make the pre-processing all ah, right no the process the pre-processing in this case is important because we're turning the nifty data into images we have them uh, over here so we have the data we have an image for each uh, uh, so that's what the that's what um, Python pre-processing code does. But in theory, we don't even have to do it. 
the volumetric data is this JSON file. And this is what you see here. There might be an issue with it. The question is, are there any a JSON native a libraries that can pass nifty files directly so we don't have to turn them into images oh this wasn't recording wasn't transcribed i'll send that one and start a new one so question quick question uh, do we uh, have any javascript libraries similar do we have any javascript libraries similar to what open neuro has doing on the website that can pass nifty files potentially even compressed nifty files directly in front end so we don't have to pre-process doing ray casting casting but ray casting didn't really work is there nifty reader js nifty reader js is it a thing that's yeah adding everything into all the code into the html file is kind of nice because then we can uh, have everything in one place oh it's good for prototyping uh, yeah we don't have orbit controls we need to make sure we have orbit controls as well don't we uh, but i want to check that a uh, nifty reader yeah, the nifty reader is not available just hallucinating hallucinating libraries for me uh, this uh, link doesn't have any uh, any javascript file in it go back go back that's the last working thing we have right we're processing with uh, uh sorry bring uh, nifty files directly in the browser without pre-processing in python sounds great those links have to work though let's go back in this uh, right so it actually has something in nifty renderer nifty js no not with tensor no we can try open new in our browser <laughs> why is there a and no, still doesn't work. Anyway, we'll have to finish for now. Let's leave you with that one for a bit. And the 3D model. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, put your comments uh, below. I'll try answering them later. I'll say bye bye for now, just to be sure. And uh, yeah, enjoy life.